Hello everyone, welcome to this video. We are going to cover another program or problem in hacker rank in Python. So let's jump in. The problem we're solving today is called string formatting. Given an integer n, print the following values in the integer i, 1, 2 n. So what they're gonna have us do is print the values in decimal form, octal, hexadecimal, and binary. Now this one is going to require some formatting, so we'll kind of format it as we go. The four values must be printed on a single line in order specified for each i from 1 to n. Each value should be space padded to match the width of the binary value of n. A single integer denoting n. So they give us some constraints. So what they want us to do is print n lines where i is the range from greater than 1 or less than n. So they're giving us the value of 17. So 1 through 17. Contains the decimal, octal, capitalized, hexadecimal, and binary values of i. Each printed value must be formatted in the width of the binary value of n. So we're, gonna, we're going to basically use the binary value of n to format this column. So basically we're going to have all this output. we got to make sure that these lines are properly formatted. So let's first print the values, and then we'll go ahead and format them. So what we're gonna do is a for loop uh, to print those values. And then we'll come back and format it. So for i in range, we're gonna start with the letter, or the number one, because it doesn't want us, it wants us to include one here, right? Greater than one, greater than or equal to one, and then up to 17. So we're, we're gonna do one and then number plus one. And the reason why we do plus one is the second value is exclusive. So if we do plus one, it will include the last value, which is what we want. All right, now we're going to print the string at i. And we're going to do that in binary. So dot, oh, actually binary will be the, the first format. So then we're going to do the next one which will be in oct. So we're gonna do OCT value i, and then we'll do comma hex at iteration i, and then binary at i. And I believe that's it. So let's go ahead and run that and see if our output is. Okay, so this is what we have. We have one, and then, as you can see, we have these characters in front, so we wanna truncate those off. But other than that, one, 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 one. And then two, 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 and 10. Okay, so let's, let's take care of that first problem. And the way that we do that is, we're just gonna position two. And then, same thing here, position two. And same thing here, position two. Let's go ahead and run that again. So we've trimmed off the first part of the character. Now, what we want to do is we want to format these. So we actually want to justify these to the right of the columns. See, so as you position these over. So we'll use our just uh, function, and we'll have to right justify each one of these values, but also we want to find the width. See, it says formatted to be the width of the binary value of n. So that's what we're gonna have to do first, is we're gonna have to create a, var a variable here. And we're gonna call it width, and we're gonna set that equal to the length of the string of binary and number. So that is the width of the value of the binary number. And we also want to trim off the first two characters. Okay, so that's our width. Now what we're gonna do is justify each one of these to the right. So what we do that is our just, and then we're gonna have to pass in the width that we've just created with our variable. And then we also wanna do a space. I could show you, yeah, it's not gonna run. I would show you how that looks, but it's not gonna give me an output unless I put, well, we can try it. I don't think it's gonna give us an output. 
yeah, we're going to need a space in there. Otherwise, it's not going to run. So thing, same thing here. R just. And then width, comma, space. And then dot R just. Width, comma, space. And lastly, R just. <laughs> with comma space. Okay. If I run that, it should should work. And it does. So you can see everything's justified to the right and the proper formatting of each character is correct. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. I hope, and if you are interested in any other of the videos, please check out the YouTube channel, Knowledge Mavens. I'll see you in the next one. So long.